Well, hello everyone. Welcome to your Daily Five for September 11, 2020. I'm Joe Duarte, founder and editor of Joe Duarte, the money I'd like to thank you all for spending the next 10 minutes of your valuable time with me and for your continued support. Today, I want to talk to you about picking stocks that can be winners in any market. I also want to spend some time on the Duarte 50-50 sell signal. I want to show you how to use it. I also want to show you some stocks that are showing relative strength during this very volatile market. So, what we want to do is talk about five plus one chart, bonus chart, to keep you in the money in any market. Let's get started. As always, we want to start with those sound trading principles. Don't fight the Fed. The Fed is still pumping money in this market, which is probably the number one reason it hasn't completely crashed lately. You want to fight the market's momentum, and you want to keep in touch with the dominant trends that are on the ground, meaning go around, kick the tires, look at things. I'm going to show you a couple of stocks today that are very much in tune with that. You want to stick with those strong sectors and those strong stocks. You want to trade in those small lots, 50, 100 share lots, because when the market turns south, you don't want to get creamed. You want to take at least partial profits when you get those 20% gainers. You keep those sell stops no more than 5 to 8%. If it drops more than that, you don't want to be in it. You can always swing back and buy it back if it looks better again. Again, monitor those lagging sectors for the potential turnaround candidates. As I will talk about today, you want to manage your cash wisely. If you get stopped out, don't be in a hurry to get back in the market. Let that cash build up. That way you'll have something to buy when the dip turns around. So let's get on with it. Here's the big picture, Fed liquidity. Fed keeps pumping money in the market. So that means that the odds of this being a short-term to intermediate-term correction are higher than a full-out crash, no guarantee. But when the Fed is pumping money in the market, it tends to hold up better. The election, boy, is this a boogeyman. Every time somebody comes out with a new poll or somebody says something, the market reacts and things get volatile. So we've had this correction, this thing, whatever it is that's going on. Do you want to buy the tip? Do you want to buy that dip? I want to be careful. I want to show you what to look for in a few seconds. More than anything, what I want to talk about is what's still working and what's not working. So let's look at the big, big picture. As usual, my favorite chart, New York Stock Exchange Advanced Decline Line, complexity zone where things are great and markets going up. We're still in the complexity zone, chaos zone where things are terrible. Let's focus on two lines here, the 50-day moving average, the blue line here, and the 200-day moving average. That's the edge of chaos. That's where chaos and complexity are in just the right mix to give stocks a chance to move way up or way down. So what's happening now? Well, the advanced decline line refuses to break down. And that's what I'm talking about when I say the 50-50 signal. Look at the RSI down here. It's below 50, but it's trying to bounce back above 50. And we have not had a break below the 50-day moving average yet, which means that we still don't have a 50-50 sell signal. Look at the 50-50 sell signal back here, bad. Look at the 50-50 sell signal back here, Look at RSI and 50-day moving average, bad. Same thing here. And as long as that stays above that 50-day moving average, the RSI stays above 50, simultaneously, we're in good shape. So let's talk about some stocks. Let me start with what's not working. Biotech is not working. Is the COVID-19 situation is well in flux. This is Emergent Biosolutions, a company that makes vaccines. We've got a lot of money and contracts from other uh, pharmaceutical companies to make their vaccines. But as the vaccine odds are starting to get questioned, uh, this company's stock has completely broken down. You can see it's below the 50-day moving average. You can see that accumulation distribution is terrible. You can see on balance volume is terrible. You can see the stock is starting to get oversold. Uh, and, and you can see that there's not a whole lot of support or resistance over here in volume by price. So you want to just be super careful with biotech right now. Same thing with Gilead Sciences. They had remdesivir, a drug that helps some patients with COVID some of the time. Market's just not buying into any of it. Gilead is getting crushed. Accumulation distribution in, in, in downtrend, on balance volume in a downtrend, it could not get above this huge resistance area here as with volume by price. And look at this, now we have a death cross for the 50 day is going below the 200 day. So biotech is not working. Let's look at some things that might be working. Here's Rollins Environmental. 
Rollins Inc. These guys own Orkin and a bunch of pest control companies. But what they do own that is new and that is growing rapidly is a service called VitaClean. They clean businesses and homes and keep them in that low risk environment regarding COVID-19. So guess what? The stock has taken off. It's in a bit of a consolidation pattern, but I'm not worried. I still own it. Look, Simulation distribution is very steady. That tells you it's a correction. Unbalanced volume is steady. That tells you it's a correction. Momentum is just at zero, correction. And RSI is at 50, correction. More important, low resistance. Look at volume by price. Stock stays above that 50-day moving average. It's going to be okay. So let's go with the next one here. Archer Daniels Midland. So this is a what I consider a stock that is on the move. Let's look at this closely. It used to be solely a corn and grain stock, which means that when crops didn't go right or when demand dropped for crops uh, and, and when, when, when weather was terrible, all kinds of problems uh, could lead this stock down. But over the last couple of years, this is now becoming a food ingredient company. Okay, let's talk about that. There's a huge move towards healthy eating now, non-GMO and organic. And guess what? Archer Daniels Midland is now becoming a leader in providing components. For example, like when you go out and buy organic cookies that have nuts in them and all kinds of uh, interesting uh, fillings and organic raisins, half the time or even more, Archer Daniels Midland is making those things, selling them to the cookie manufacturers. So, this business is actually showing growth. The market's starting to recognize that. You can see here that the stock is well in the complexity zone. It's got really good support here volume by price. So the key is that 44, 45 area, and maybe down to the 50-day moving average. We got a little bit of a correction here, accumulation distributions, a little bumpy, but still in an uptrend. Same thing with unbalanced volume, a little bumpy, but in an uptrend. But here's the key. The stock is a little bit overbought, which means that we might see consolidation for a little bit. A little less, this stock holds above that 50 day moving average. It's a great opportunity. I own this stock. I recommend it on joeduarte.com. Let's look at the next one. I drove from Dallas to El Paso this week. And you know, it gave me a great opportunity. To look around and kick the tires and see what's working. Let me tell you, every Starbucks that I saw on the road Every Starbucks that I've seen in El Paso has a huge line around that drive through window now. Okay? A lot of people are down on Starbucks, and they could be right. I mean, certainly anything is possible. What I'm seeing on the ground is that this chart that is showing a nice uptrend where the stock's above the 50 and the 200-day moving average, and the 50-day moving average is about to give us a golden cross, is likely to continue to be in an uptrend for some time. Now, let's look at things carefully here. Let's not get completely out of control. Relation distribution is pulling back some. Balance volume is pulling back some. And certainly the stock has recently been overbought. It was above 70 in RSI, so it's correcting. The chart is correcting. But here's the key, volume by price around 85. If this stock holds up above there, with what I'm seeing, the huge drive-through traffic, we might have a very nice surprise with Star. So let's recap. Fed liquidity should keep this market in better shape than it would be if the Fed wasn't putting in money. The election is going to cause volatility. We want to buy the dip. We want to make sure that that 50-50 sell signal does not happen before we buy that dip. We want to focus on what's still working. Well, Joe Duarte, Thank you for watching. I want you to check out, please. Number one best selling book, Creating Options for Dummies. Number one on Amazon.com. Thank you for buying it. I want you to consider a free trial to my website. Full disclosure I recommended Archer Daniels Midland and Starbucks on Joe Duarte, the money options.com. I own shares in the company. Look forward to our next visit right here on the Daily Five. I recommend signing up for my September 16, 2020 presentation at the Virtual Money Show, where I'll be speaking about the topics I spoke about today and other topics in more detail. To sign up, go to moneyshow.com, search for Joe Duarte. Also, check out my tutorial on the New York Stock Exchange Advanced Decline Line right here next week. 
on November on uh, September 18th. Lou Duarte, we will definitely talk again. Have a great day. Hey, Grayson Rose here with Stock Charts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, consider giving it a like down below. Maybe leave us a comment. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe at the link up above. We're going to bring you daily content from an incredible collection of technical analysts and financial experts.